Welcome back. So today I'm going to try to do something a bit different. I've been inspired by Daniel Cooper and I've got this little mold that I bought from Pouring Your Heart Out and I am going to try and do something with it. It is not very thick, it's only very thin. So um, I'll see what I can do with it. So I'm going to be putting all the gold and you've got to be really careful with it that I don't want the gold to go everywhere else. Right, so being extra, extra careful here. And I will fast forward because I'll be doing all of this and this is going to take time. Right, so I'll just fast forward this bit. <laughs> have to try and clean up the mess in the places that I don't want it, which is not going to be an easy task with it. Because this gold is, it's a metallic, so it tends to really stick to things. And I got this in Harry and Wilma. So I'm going to try to see if, if I use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, it will do it. Might be a little bit slow doing it, because like I said, it really sticks to things. It's a good goal, but hard to get it to clean and we want it clean so I'll continue doing this and I'll come back it's done right the isopor alcohol I think it's done the trick as best as I could that is to make sure it's dry for the next step and I've made a mess guys that's better All right, so that's it. And like I said, I've been inspired by Daniel Cooper. Head spray technique. So I don't want this to go everywhere. So, excuse me for a moment. So I have sprayed it just here. Because like I said, I don't want this spray going everywhere. And now you have to wait for it to be really dry before you can do anything else okay so i'll be back when it's dry so it's dry now and i don't know that you can see it but i've only, only did a very light spray i didn't do a heavy spray And I'm not sure whether I should be using this one or this one here. And I've got some interference gold. And I'm going to brush it all over the surface. Let's see if it's doing the job. Oh, yeah. I'm 
yep that's doing it so I'm going to be doing the interference gold all over it so what I will be doing is fast forwarding so as not to bore you guys So that's it for the interference gold. So now I just shook it upside down a little bit to take the excess out. And I'm going to mix some platinum ultra clear and pour it. And I'm going to actually use black so it really comes, the gold comes up. All right, bye for now, while I mix and put my gloves on. So I've got my black mixed. And I think it's dark enough. I think. I'm going to add to it some of the Arctic Creations Shimmer. To give it a little bit of sparkle. That's it. Set. Just to give the black a little bit of a sparkle. See? It's only a little bit. So it's not going to do that much. Alright. So. It's from Artry Creations and it's called Shimmer. And now I'll just start pouring actually on here. I said it's not a very deep mold so I wasn't sure how much I was going to need I obviously did too much of resin because I really didn't need that much I'm gonna take some bubbles of So this is it, I will be back when it's time to demold, bye for now. So let's have a look how it came out. Let's hope it looks nice. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Can you see how the effect we got with the hairspray? Oh, that is really pretty. So I've decided to put a bit of gold in the edges. This is just a metallic marker and do the whole 
edge. You usually can do this better, right, if you are sitting then like this. It's a bit hard to do it like that. All right, so, because this is a thin one. That is a thicker one, and I've got a thicker one, but I don't like the color of this one. It doesn't look really gold right so I will I will do it and then and fast forward all right so this is another way of doing pretty mold it's a lovely mold Okay, thank you very much everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe. And thank you for all those that watch my channel all the time. Bye for now.